Steve Dinelli offered at ANU, what's next? You can choose to either accept or decline your early offer. This can be done directly through the application portal, so please log into your application to accept or decline your offer. Please note the deadline to accept the offer is at 11.59pm at Australian Eastern Standard Time on the 7th of September. If the early offer you've received is not to your first preference or is one of your lower preferences, we suggest that you still accept the offer as this will confirm your offer at ANU. You'll have another opportunity to receive an offer to your first preference in the December offer round. Early offer not to your first preference. If you've not received an offer to your first preference or even the next preference, there are a few possibilities as to why. One reason may be that the ANU selection rank which is being produced is lower than the program's entry requirements. It could be that you have selected an ANU preference that may have a prerequisite admission requirement. This means that in order to receive an offer to study these courses, you must have completed certain subjects throughout your year 11 and 12 studies. If you applied for any adjustment factors and they have not been added, this may be because not all of the documentation has been provided as required. Prerequisite requirements. Some programs may have additional selection criteria. The admission requirements for each program can be found on the ANU programs and courses website. Completion of prerequisite courses are required in order to receive an offer to the degree program. If you haven't completed the required prerequisites course or subject, you will not be able to receive an offer to those programs, even if your ATAR is high enough. If you have not enrolled in the required course to meet the prerequisite requirement, you should contact the college or us about the options that you will need to take to be eligible for an offer. You can also look at alternate programs that do not require the prerequisite. If you have received an offer for a program that has a math prerequisite, you need to make sure that you complete the relevant math subject that is relevant to the program. Flexible double degrees. Offers released on the 10th of August to study a flexible double degree at ANU are based on you meeting the minimum selection rank. Your prerequisite requirements will be assessed when your year 12 results are released. When accepting in August, you will only need to accept the FDD group, not your preferred programs. When you confirm your acceptance of a flexible double degree in December, you would then have the option to select the two programs that you'd like to study, although you only have the option to accept degrees for which you have met the entry requirements, including those with prerequisites. If you want to pick a program that has a prerequisite requirement, but you have not completed the prerequisite, then you will not be able to select this program under the flexible double degree. Assessment of preferences. If you didn't receive an offer to your first preference, you will get another opportunity in the later offer rounds. Once your final ATAR is released, we will assess your application again from your first preference. If you don't meet the requirement or are not competitive enough in your first preferred program, we'll go on to your second preference and so on. As you've now received your offer, you'll be guaranteed a place in the program on the basis of completion of your year 12 studies with an ATAR. It is in your best interest to accept the current offer you have received as you will have the ability to change your preference and list your preferred program of choice. If your preferences remain as they currently are, we will reassess against them and issue a full offer for the highest preference which you're eligible for based on your final results. If you wish to change your preference list, you may do so from the 8th of September to mid-December. Furthermore, we encourage you to accept your early offer before midnight on the 7th of September. Key dates. Key dates for the remainder of the direct application process are indicated only and will be confirmed once you receive ATAR results release dates from various states and territories. Change of preferences. First thing you need to consider is what it is that you want to study most and making sure that you always put your preferred preference first. It is strongly advised that you don't have your preferred program as a lower preference on the assumption that you might receive an offer as you may be unaware of whether or not you've been eligible for equity, subject or performer adjustment factors, which can increase your overall selection rank and therefore increase your chances of being eligible for your preferred program. If you have changed your mind since submitting your application and want an offer to a different program, we 
We recommend dropping the preference with the offer down and putting it as your last preference. This way we'll reassess your application with the revised preferences. This is also an opportunity for you to change your preferences if you have selected that um, programs that have prerequisite requirements that you will not meet the requirements for. The application portal will reopen on the 8th of September until mid-December to change your preferences. December off round. In the December off round, your preferences are considered in the order you've listed them on your application. Regarding our assessment, we will produce a year 12 selection rank made up of either your ATAR or your ATAR plus any equity, subject or performer based adjustment factors you may be eligible for. We will assess your preferences again using both the year 11 selection rank and the year 12 selection rank. And we'll use the selection rank that will give you the best possible outcome. Completion of year 12. A reminder for 2021 admission, early offers based on year 11 results on the 10th of August 2020 will be honoured for study in 2021 as long as students have completed year 12 with an ATAR or are awarded the, their IB diploma. Reaccept your offer. After the December offer round, if you decide that you are going to stick with the early offer, we advise that you reaccept the offer just to confirm that you still intend on commencing at ANU in that program. Accommodation. If you have any questions or queries in relation to accommodation and would like to discuss your options, we recommend that you contact our accommodation team either by phone or email. Alternatively, you can also visit the phone website for further information. Scholarships. If you have any questions or queries in relation to scholarships that you would like to discuss, we recommend that you contact our scholarship team via email. Any questions? If you have any questions or require further assistance, please contact us via email. We are more than happy to help you with your inquiry. Due to COVID-19, our team is currently working remotely and all inquiries are being processed via email. We appreciate your understanding during this time.